Squirt, squirt, up on that scene. Hop out, engine looking clean. All right, what's up, guys? Poison here, and I'm back with another video for Killing Floor 2. Today is Tuesday, so we're taking a look at the new weekly. Not really new, but I mean, like, you know, every week it changes. So this week's um, Horzine Weekly Outbreak is actually Bobble Zed. That must hurt our next. Something went horribly wrong with this batch of Zeds, and their heads are way larger than normal. Huge even. Select the weekly game mode on the match main page. Perk level 15 plus. Now, let me say this first off. These Zeds also have increased health. So you want um, a class that does a lot of damage. Let's just start out here. Berserker did good. Commando failed me. Support failed me. Didn't play Field Medic. Demolitionist. Mm, I didn't make it far enough to actually beat it. Firebug is a horrible idea. Gunslinger would probably be good. Sharpshooter, I imagine, would be good. I went with SWAT. This just made it super easy. So let's start it up. First things first, you know, obviously go to your weekly challenge, choose your level, and click launch game. I'm playing Krampus Lair, and we'll talk about it more when the level loads up. So here we are, weekly outbreak. And as you see, even our character has a huge head. So every character has a we uh, larger head. Um, yeah, we're playing a SWAT. Uh, headshots are king on this game mode. So first things first, the reason I'm playing is Kramp or I'm playing on Krampus Slayer is because of all this ammo you have. You start out, you have an ammo pack right there. If you go around the other way over here, you actually either have a weapon or armor. This time we have armor. I you see. Headshots are just amazing. Um, you may run out of ammo in the beginning, especially when you get an Alpha Elite or these Gore Fiends. They take a lot of damage. And like I'm saying, every Zed has increased health as well. So it's not going to be like a one-shot, one-kill. You're going to have to put a lot of bullets into them. And the reason I'm going with SWAT is because when you go into Zed time, which in this outbreak it's easy to go into Zed time, you have infinite ammo. So, you know, you can just spray and kill pretty much anything. See, these Zeds are going to take a little bit more damage because they're, you know, everything takes more damage, unfortunately. You know, normal Zeds still take a pretty decent amount of damage, but bigger Zeds are going to present more of a problem. Um, like those Elite Alphas or even... um. Gore fiends are going to be a problem, at least with the MP7. If you, you know, once you get the MP5, everything becomes a lot easier. Let's see, we still have room for more weapons. We're not going to purchase anything so far. Thankfully, more armor. And in this part, you have one, two, three things of ammo. So we're not going to get them yet. We're going to wait until we get our um, next weapon, which thankfully we already have one weapon to sell. So that gives us $100. Um, what's this weapon? We got... $150 now, thanks, because weapons keep spawning, so do armor. Um, I'm saying Krampus Lair is just an easy map. I really like this map. It's, you know, you constantly have armor, you constantly have ammo. We'll just do that, and we'll just go pick up more ammo anyways. One thing about this map is there are these stand your ground parts where you stay in a certain area and you could get more, um, you get more dosh. It's not really worth it. I don't like doing the stand your grounds when I'm playing this weekly. If I'm not playing a weekly, yes, I do stand your ground, but to stay in one area during the, you know, weekly challenge where they have more health, it's just suicide. It's not worth it. So, now we're loading up. Watch, it's going to stand your ground. You're supposed to stay in that area. I don't really care. Yeah, the 200 dollars should be nice, but it's not necessary. And one thing to also say, I am using a different microphone than normal. I'm not using my HyperX Cloud Stinger headset because, um, uh, I've just noticed that when I, uh, edit the videos. I just noticed that the audio is very muted. It's very quiet. I'm using a different microphone this time. Hopefully it does good, you know. Uh, you just gotta love, um, you know, Zed time during a SWAT playthrough. Um, one thing also obvious, don't stay in one area, you know. Keep moving around. It's just gonna be for the best. Um, especially when you go below to the coal mines, you're just gonna want to keep running the gauntlet. You're not gonna want to stay in the area. And man, there's a lot of Zeds here. Let's run. Oh, we killed him, thankfully, before he decided to flamethrower us. You know, Zed time, might as well switch out to the MP5. Like I said, you're going to run out of ammo with any other perk deck. Um, Yeah, support's good. You know, you have that constant, like, one-shot, one-kill, but... um. I'd prefer just to have, like, more ammo, because it's going to be more ammo wasted than, um, ammo saved, honestly. Like, you want to do a bunch of damage, and, like I said, Berserker works good. I'm just not really a fan of Berserker, you know. I already played through it the first time when I beat this challenge as Berserker. I did my usual Berserker, um, final boss demolitionist, and it just was, it's possible, it's just a huge headache. It's not worth it. Um... Yeah, like I said, every other perk deck has kind of failed me. 
Um, Demolitionist, I made it to wave 7, and it was just a huge pain in the ass. Actually, no, I did beat this as Demolitionist, and like I said, it's just a huge pain in the ass. Um, what's his name? I ended up glitching out the game, and, um, I was playing on the Descent. I ended up fighting Krampus as the final boss, and, like, I sh blew off his mask, he got enraged, he was gonna charge me, and then I shot him one more time, and it threw him through a wall and sent him out of bounds, insta-killing him, so... It won me the match, but it's not always going to happen. And, you know, this is actually the se that was the second time that I actually threw Krampus off the map. And I don't know how to do it. It's just a random glitch. Um, the first time I threw Krampus off the map was on the Descent. Not the Descent. It was Outpost. And Krampus ended up, like I said, glitching out. He ended up getting thrown off the map, but I ended up dying anyways because his abominations got me. And it was just a huge headache. Um, I'm saying, I just find this perk deck to be the best. Um, honestly, as soon as you can, definitely buy the UMP-45. It's gonna be the best weapon you could get. Um, it does the most damage also, even more than the Chris, um, SMG. So, the UMP-45, best weapon to have. Um, especially if you fight Krampus as SWAT, it's actually relatively easy. All you have to do is blow off his, um, face mask, and then from there, you could insta-kill him. Like, not really insta-kill, but I mean, you know, he has a big hitbox on his head area, so you could just kill him super easy. So I'm saying, I just found SWAT to be the best um, perk deck for this challenge. Um, Commando could kind of work too. I just didn't have good results with Commando. I just kept messing up and dying. So that's why I'm like, uh, let's not even show it off. Um, you know what I'm saying? You could probably do good with it. I just didn't have any luck. You know, but who knows? Maybe you guys will be lucky. Maybe you guys are better than me and you guys could do it with Commando. I didn't enjoy it. It was just a huge headache. Um, support looks like it would have been good as well, but it's just more of like, you know, once again, headache. I didn't have good results with it. I didn't want to, you know, show it off. So, you know, I just beat this recently as SWAT. So I thought, hey, let's actually get SWAT in here and just show it off real quick. You know, get it out of the way. MP5 is a good weapon to have because does more damage to MP7. MP7 isn't really going to kill these, uh, gore fiends. And these gore fiends are absolutely terrifying reskins, um... I was playing last night, and I was playing the weekly mode, um, just trying to see what perk decks would be good. And I ended up turning around, and a Gore Fiend was right in my face, ended up scaring me really bad. Oh, my bad. Had a burp, wouldn't come out, but, um... Yeah, Gore Fiend's absolutely terrifying, especially when you turn around, and their big face is, like, right in yours, and it's like, Hey, what are you doing? It's just absolutely terrifying. So, moving on, still doing good. Uh, we gotta move downstairs now. No weapons or ammo have spawned yet, but thankfully we could go hit up some uh, spawns real quick. We sh should have enough after we pick up these weapons to sell them for um, a good, you know, we can buy the UMP now. And we're not going to hit up ammo, we're gonna actually going to sell these weapons first. So there's one weapon spawn there. It could either be a weapon or it could be armor. Either or are good, but let's see. See here, we're not going to be able to afford the, um, the UMP because we end up getting armor. And this duel, it's not going to give us enough money. Or maybe it might. No, it's not going to give us enough money. It's going to be like 120. 112, yeah. We can afford the P90. It's not really worth it. But yeah, I'm really hoping this keyboard work. Or not this keyboard. What am I talking about? I'm hoping this microphone sounds a lot better than the um, HyperX Cloud one. I know this microphone is super cheap. It's a $15 microphone I bought for the Avermedia Media a long time ago. It's super cheap microphone, and it picks up a lot of background noise. But it's a lot louder than the HyperX Cloud Stinger. So that's why... I I'm using it this week. Um, if you guys watch my videos, if you guys saw last week's video and they see this one, please let me know which microphone is better. Um, I'm very tempted to not use this one because, like I said, it might be louder, but it just picks up a lot of static and it's not really, you know, I want the audio to sound clear. But we just gotta wait for these Zeds to break down the doors. Um, like I said, I don't even care about the stand your ground. If you attempt to do stand your ground, you're going to end up just killing yourself. Because you got to be stuck in that area the whole time. It's not really worth it. Unless you're playing with a team, then yeah, you guys could all defend, you know, the point. But here I am playing solo. And yeah, the game is easier on solo, but I'm not really even going to risk staying here and end up just, you know, getting cornered. Not worth it. Um, Like I mentioned earlier also about this uh weekly game mode is... Uh, Z time is a lot easier to get into. I've noticed with SWAT during this uh, Z time. Um, I don't really know how to trigger sweat. Uh, sweat time, what the hell? 
I don't know how to trigger Zed time, truthfully, but I guess just getting headshots just triggers it, so... You could easily pull off Zed time in this game mode. And like I said, if you um have your uh, perk deck set up like I do, once you go into Zed time, you're actually going to be doing infinite... um Or you have infinite ammo, so you could just stay here, as you see here. I can stay firing forever during Zed time. I don't waste any ammo. Now, before we even go pick up our... our bullets let's actually buy the ump 45 which like i said the ump 45 is a lot stronger than the chris okay well not really a lot on paper it just you know slight increase but still it's 300 uh dosh cheaper and it's stronger so may not be as fast but that's not really important i'm more going for damage than um bullet output so you know good weapon to choose and I'll show you guys the stats here. I didn't really notice the stats when I did the first video showing it off. But if we go here, H and Heckler and Coke, Cock, UMP, uh, ammo, damage is right there. While the Chris SMG is a little bit below. And you may look at it and be like, oh, well, that little change doesn't make it better or worse. And it actually does. Um, I was trying to kill a Scrake earlier, and I wasn't able to successfully kill him with one magazine of the Chris SMG with full headshots. As where if half a magazine of the UMP, I was able to kill, you know, a Scrake. So, it works a lot better for me. You know, obviously if it works better for me, it should work better for everyone else. And god, this zone is already getting messed up. Once again, I don't care if the zone ends up getting failed, that's fine. Not really here to def stand your ground. And, you know, this playthrough, actually, while recording, is working out a lot better than when I play through it not recording. Like I said, when I wasn't recording, oh shit. This is what I'm saying, you gotta keep running. When I wasn't recording, it was just a huge headache. Oh god. That was terrifying. And at this point, honestly, MP5 all the way. Keep the um the MP7 for like last measures. Don't use your UMP45 unless you know you need like a big like Zed killer, like a scrake or a quarter pound. But you know, regular Zeds at this point just stick to the MP5. MP7 is, like I'm saying, backup, backup, but you don't really need it at this point. See, MP5 does damage. Ah, oh, not enough damage to kill him. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. I'm trying to figure out where to go. So, we got quarter pounds. You know, UMP45, get rid of them. Oh, jeez. We're going to keep getting caught and stuff because they keep throwing us into things. And I'm saying, if you're a Call of Duty zombie player, you should be used to running a train. That's just your... For this um, game mode, especially on this map, running a train is all you have to do to just survive. Like I said, as soon as you get down to those coal mines, you're just going to keep running a train. Don't even bother staying in one place. MP5, taking some time to kill those... Uh, Gore, not Gore Fiends, uh, Alpha Elites or whatever. Elite Alphas, whatever they are. And hopefully it looks like we could start getting um, the Chris Vector in a minute. We're going to end up wasting all our ammo in this gun. It's whatever. You know, MP7 does some good damage, but not enough to survive off of. Thankfully, these are our last two Zed, so we could just use the MP7. Let's see. We can't... We can't pick it up. We don't have enough uh, room to pick it up. Thankfully, we have enough room for, you know, ammo, but... This outbreak... Mm, kind of long, kind of short. It's not that bad, though. You could easily do this. Um... Like I'm saying, with outbreaks, you just need to see what you're good with. I imagine the sharpshooter would be good for this outbreak. It's just not something I really even tried. Um, honestly, my time has been very, very short recently. Um, I don't really have much time for anything. Just a lot of work's been happening, so... Didn't have time to play around with stuff. Oh, I had that shitty pistol. Um, I guess we'll keep the MP7 for one more round. By wave 7, you should get the MP7. But, or the U, the Chris, my bad. But, like I'm saying, the UMP45 is a good alternative. You don't need the Chris. What do we have here? We got a shotgun. We can pick, we can't pick that up. We got no space. Alright, whatever. Uh, 
And usually in these videos, I don't talk when I'm like in when I have time to waste. But you know, like I'm saying, this is just rel This is a pretty short. Um, I was gonna say heist. My bad. I've been thinking about paying to you for too much. Um, this is a relatively short weekly. It's not the shortest one, but it's not like bad. And I'm saying, now that you're here in the coal mine, just keep running around. Keep going in the circle. Any Zeds that come up behind you, you could just walk around. Definitely want to pick up ammo, because throughout this whole outside ring... Um, well, actually, it's always a ring. There is no, like, inside. Well, there is technically an inside right here, but... On the outside of this ring, you can always pick up ammo if you keep, like, you know, knowing where the spots are. And thankfully... Oh, Jesus. So, we failed. We failed, um... I don't really want to record anymore because, like I said, I'm already out of time. It's already 4.03. This video has to be uploaded by 7 p.m. Trust me, if you were paying attention, maybe I should have went to the inside over there. Had I gone the inside, you know, I would have avoided those two scrakes. It's possible to beat this on SWAT. I'm telling you, it's possible. If you're going to talk shit, I don't really care. Come in here, talk shit, be like, oh, you failed, whatever, dude. Like I'm saying, SWAT is just the easiest perk deck I found, um, you know... Obviously, your final setup, by the time you fight the uh, final boss, you're going to want the MP5, UMP, and then the um, Chris. And like I'm saying, if you fight Krampus, you're going to want that UMP45, and you're just going to want to shoot him in the head. You know, don't even worry about his chest. Don't worry about his feet. Just headshots is all you want, and you're going to kill Krampus easily. Um, any other Zed by now, you should know how to defeat them. But like I'm saying, SWAT, best perk deck to play this um, weekly outbreak on. And Krampus is no problem if you just take off his mask and just keep running away and don't even aim. If you have crosshairs enabled, you know, just barely aim and shoot him in the head. So guys, I will see you tomorrow with a lot of videos, actually. I have a lot of videos to put out tomorrow. So until then, have an awesome day. Thank you for watching. Bye.